Hello. Hello there. I have some Harvard banknotes I'd like to sell. I went to Harvard. I mean, I went there. I didn't go to school there, but I went there once. <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today to try to sell four Harvard banknotes. I got my Harvard banknotes through my grandfather. He had them, and I don't know much beyond that. I hope I can find out some more information about the Harvard banknotes and possibly come to an agreement to sell them. I'm hoping that I can get $2,000 for my banknotes. If I'm able to sell my Harvard banknotes today, I'm going to use that money to get a new washer and dryer. It's really, really neat that these are Harvard. And the reason why is these rarely exist. So back in the 1860s, American money was silver dollars and gold coins. Most people didn't want paper money because the mindset of everybody was, that's just paper money. Real money is gold or silver. So the US government didn't print money. They did during the Civil War some, but um, it wasn't until later on they started printing actual US currency. So independent banks printed their own money. Okay, so like if you live around Cambridge, this was the local currency. But um, the big problem was that this is in Cambridge. Say you went to Philadelphia, no one's gonna want your money. So the money was good locally, but not really nationally. Um, you see lots and lots of currency out there from banks that don't exist anymore. But Harvard actually became a nationally chartered bank and everyone turned in this paper money for government issued bills like we have today, which were good everywhere in the United States, everybody accepted them. So it's very odd that these were never turned in and that makes them very rare. Interesting. So you're looking to sell them? I am looking to sell them, yes. How much are you looking for? I was thinking $2,000. Um, that might be a good price. It might be a little bit more. I've seen these things go for really big money. These are all pretty rough. They're graded. You know, 12s and 15s are not great shape. But I have a friend who is an expert in currency, and I could get him down here to take a look at these things. He can figure out the value on them. OK. I'll be right back. I'm really hoping that the expert will say that these banknotes are worth the asking price I have, or maybe even just a little bit more. What you got here today? Well, this young lady right here um, has some Harvard banknotes. And I know Harvard banknotes generally go for pretty good money because they're rare. Yeah, actually, this is exciting because I, I haven't handled any obsoletes from the Harvard Bank in several years, actually. Uh, we call them obsoletes because they're no longer in use. Once a private issued bank turned into a national bank, most, if not all, the money got redeemed. If you didn't redeem, it was worthless. From here, they actually look like they're in pretty good condition. May I take a look? Sure. Okay, so the good news is it looks like someone already got these graded, Rick, which is great because the only known uh, notes from the $10 are counterfeits. So this may very well be the only genuine $10. Unfortunately, Rick, it has some uh, chewing on the edge. The $1, even though it's graded fine 15, it's actually in remarkable condition. Um, it's very attractive. The signatures are just clear as day. The paper quality is great. The inks are, are bright. Um, it's probably the second finest um, that I've seen. Yeah, they, these are great. So there's probably less than 50 of these in the world? Far less than 50, yeah. I'd say probably less than 20 all combined, including these four. Okay, so um, super cool. I, you know, I know they're rare. I didn't realize they were that rare. Yep. Um, so the big question is, what's the price? In today's market, I would put an absolute floor bottom of ten thousand dollars. Wow. Ten thousand bucks. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thanks, man. I'll call you up. I'll tell you what happens. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Congratulations. Do you still want two thousand bucks? I think maybe not. <laughs> okay. I think $10,000. Um, I can't give you $10,000. Um, I know he said rock bottom, $10,000 is what they'd go for, but um, it's a very small market. How about nine? I'll tell you what, I'll, gi I'll give you 7000 for them. Eight. Uh, I'm not going to go eight. I'll go 7500 bucks if you want it. That, that's, that's, that's it. 
I'm thinking now, since we found out they were worth more, I think I'll just do a little bit of research now and see what I can find. No problem, but if you change your mind, come and see me. I will. Have a good one. Thanks. Can't win them all. And I was gonna pay her in real dollars.